so. run tight and leg it, leg it as quick as they can through the bathroom. And Taz, so aggressive to get that inf early information. Well, we may need to get the initial pickup. And now Snack straight up the ladder. But Titan, they hold their ground. Took a lot of damage for this, but pushing into the B sides can become a little bit easier for them. Yeah, they're not deciding to go there. there. In fact, Smith, he's looping around. He's going to come back behind Bialy. One shot to the back of the head. And Bialy is down for the count. And this is meant to be VP's map, but Titan on T side. They have supreme control of train. Indeed, Vitus Rose starting off on the very CT side of map. On the CT side, on their map pick, with the first map in the back, with an awesome comeback. So everything looks very, very good for um, Virtus Pro right now. Mm -hmm. And still, Titan will win the piss round, probably. I'll send that request towards the sound department as well, if we can turn the game sounds on as... Uh, I know the, uh, the chat's also searching for that. I've been watching you today, chat. Thanks as well for, for sticking around throughout the entire event. You guys, you guys are awesome. It's Indeed. amazing how hardcore the CS crowd is. More right. than hardcore. You're good. Ah, there we go. Now we have sound. Wonderful. Just as the bomb blows up. See, we're here for you, everyone. We're here for you. We listen to your cries and your pleas. Uh, so, Titan, they're up one. And what does Virtus Pro do? So we get a little bit of armor, we get a couple of pistols, and we've got that scout for Pasha. Yeah, but they know that they can't overinvest in this round because they need the economy later on in the in the first real rifle round. So they need to have the equipment and they need to possibly have enough money to buy up any of Well, yeah, first they... opening frag. Nothing too special in my opinion. But uh, it's, it's just a simple pick. Like, it's just the fact it was also Pasha's scout which gets taken out. Yeah. So you, you just lose that small range advantage for Virtus Pro as again they try and defend on the train line. And again, Titan, they're, they're making that little bit of a, a run. A they started over at Vines, and now they're backing all the way up. They're legging it through bathrooms. This should be fairly loud, though. And Taz is the only man on B at the moment. That movement over has not happened yet. And the Deagle can be really scary if he's next to the heads. He just finds himself a shot through the smoke to scare them away, but it's not happening. Now he can do some damage to them through the small gap between the trains, but it will handle it not too really badly. But now they're actually going to work using that scout. So still one on the site. Snacks did scout it out, and that's going to be Taz to drop down Maniac, who was that man playing in close. But we're going to sell us a split defense. Smith coming in through that mid connector. He will be dropped. But at the same time, we've still managed to bring this back into a 2-1-2. Two -two. Snacks and Neo and Titan, they're locked in the one position. Snacks couldn't finish the job. The bomb is still ticking. And Neo, I tagged oh. him, but he doesn't have enough time. The bomb will still explode. He'll save the AK. But the, bri the bright side of the first pro is the fact that Titan, yes, you win the round, but you don't save any of your weapons. And that was one of the stylish, most stylish frags. Um, today, probably. Just a scout tag, the then instant switch to the Deagle, and as soon as the Deagle was in place, just pulling the trigger and hitting the shot, just like a Quake player switching from the LG to the to the ray gun and finishing the, off his opponent. The only thing he would have needed was like a nice little jump slide. Now Snacks throws out a nice little nade, tags up quite heavily tight, and if they're just charging him, they did buy up with the Mac, as well as the AKs, and they're just walking all over Virtus Pro. Bialy is at least able to get a little bit of revenge. Titan do lose two, but it just means they hold on to three AKs instead of four. So they're perfectly all right with this. Titan now three rounds to zero, but this is the Virtus Pro's first real buy round. So Titan, they're about to be tested on VP's map. And the thing about those CT-sided maps is also that if you lose the first rifle right round, you can run into very, very big problems, especially if you didn't win the pistol round, just like Virtus Pro did. Titan have the chance to make it 5-0 to zero already, and that puts a lot of pressure on top of it. So now. Smith, straight in, already finds the first pick over on Neo, Taz able to defend, using the trains for cover, but unfortunately there are too many angles to try and find cover from. It's 3 on 2, Bialy looking for the initial pick, another little nade throw, Maniac down to one life, like a breeze would kill this man right now, and Bialy jumps up and he's that vision he doesn't see him he moved past the blue carriage and now maniac with one life he doesn't need much more than that brings down bialy 
It's still a two on one because of the shocks reveals his own position. Tagging up Pasha has such a great such a great map. Over and over pass, but now he needs to find the opening and Maniac gets two kills with one life. And, and Titan hold the round. That was just yeah, he's swiping his his forehead just like phew. How did I do that? Yeah, with 99 damage in the back for Maniac, basically, he still pulls off that play, sneaking down into the back lines. And that is something that I've talked about with a few players as well. How do you hold on to the bomb that is planted on the B-bomb side? No team has really figured out the recipe to do that. The best bet is to just push through into the deeper part of the B-bomb side and just try to control the CT spawn, basically. Nice little play there from Virtus Pro. They did push heavily up into bathrooms, but they delayed their push a little bit longer so they were able to get that AK. Unfortunately for them, it doesn't really count to much. Pasha is now the last man left alive, and he is going to leg it to the back trains area where he's about to run into existence. Who's just spraying, spraying through the smoke. Another 23 bullets in the clip. Looks away almost the wrong time, Pasha. He's on the edge of the smoke, so a look back. You won't see him because he's just around the corner of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> unless he, unless he sees a pistol come it. around the side. That's the only way existence is going to get this. And Pasha, he just, I don't know if he's searching for exit frags or not. But he's not going to find anything. Titan already backing up. They know they got this one. They hold the, actually they still switch out one of the AKs for an M4. But they're perfectly alright. Pasha, oh the last little shot! Ah. He can't get it. Yeah. It would have yeah, been that's... nice. Pick, up, pick up an AK as well as get the kill after the counter. Indeed, and after the counter means no money. But, um, uh, Titan on the 5 to 0 lead now, just as I mentioned before, and. Oh, look at Furtis Pro. Double yeah. AWP set up now. Yeah. How many angles can they cover? Pasha. Okay, looking to the left side of the train. Neo's also out there, they're just really focusing on that area. Snacks with the M4, at least that'll stop them from coming down through through drop. The Snacks still going to work. This is a lot better round for Virtus Pro. They still hold the double ops. Smoke makes it difficult. Pasha right behind Maniac. You'll see him. Point blank of Price and actually tag up. Shocks through his teammate. But it will be the first round now. VP gets on the board as they hold the two ops. Yeah, now they need to string those rounds together, desperately need to do that, otherwise Titan will just run away with the scoreline. If they reset the CT money at that point in the game, it will not only crush them mentally, but also financially, and then uh, momentum-wise on top of that. So everything is on the line for Virtus Pro. If they can't get it done right here, right now, Titan will feel way too good about Train, and they might, you know, pick up that momentum that they lack at the latest stage on overpass where it just watered down and it kept being watered down and they just went slower and slower and slower and the game just kept slipping off from their hands now titan is in control basically if they make this round go their way they have the awp for smith and existence on ivy right now just waiting for the smoke to fade and then he has two teammates to work with on the push towards the A bomb set, RPK waiting and Pop Dog and Chox just waiting for the call of his team leader. As Pasha will be the man in the spotlight on that push, he needs to get at least one or two frags. Uh, this is to this is hold just on to that side. It's so smart from Virtus Pro because all they're doing, they're throwing out these flashes, they're throwing out the Molotovs, they're making Titan tick out time, and this is not what they want to do. Like they picked up an AWP on Smith so he can try and play these little bit of range battle battles, but you keep Bialy close up on the blue crate it's difficult for titan just to make the run but they have to go into the train yard there's no way they can get into b anymore and vp will be ready for this the flash to go to start with Bialy's already managed to find a couple he will lose his life but it's the train yard clearance the shocks needs to just pick up something more than this but he can't do it neo will snap him back and smith the last man left alive he might have reached the site but he won't get anything apart from the kill on pasha the AWP recovered by virtus pro and titan they're not finding these openings anymore. Now that VP have money, that they can utilize smokes and nades. I can yeah. actually remember the stories about Train as well. Like when, when this map first came out, before they changed up the cart positions, I was like, well, if you know good smokes, if you know good Molotov, Molotovs and you got the money for it, you win. Like that's, that's kind of what it came down to. Yeah, and it's still not as much like it, but it's still very much like it. <laughs> <laughs>
And it's it's similar yet surprisingly different. Yeah, somehow maybe a little bit. Snacks. Probably. I wonder if M4 bullets dust away the cobwebs. He looks up through the hole. Yeah, he needs to have a vacuum cleaner for that, I guess. M4 can do that. <laughs> amount, of, amount of wind it blows out. Uh, that's why the silence is on top of that. Uh, now I now I figure that out. <laughs> so no. they can sleep while you vac. Of <laughs> course, it's so logical. Neo, good orb shot, stops Titan from taking this high approach. And Taz, high up on the train side as well. He didn't see. He had to back up through the through his smoke as well. He'll get picked off at the back of the train yard. But Neo's AWP, they know where that one is, considering he got the initial frag, but still tight down. They get the plant down as well, and existence causing real havoc behind the CT lines. But they're still three on two. Shock's the only man with a real weapon. Maniac only with that P250, which is a poor excuse of a gun. And Shock's, well, maybe he can get himself a knife and regain the AWP. Not possible. Someone's going to climb up to get that one. Snacks is making a leap for it. Is he a quick runner? No, he's not. So they don't manage to hold him to any of the AWPs from Virtus Pro. But they do still take another round in a row. Yeah, low investment by Titan and a very high reward in my opinion. They got a bomb plan, they removed the ADVT and got three frags. And so now they go double up. Yeah, and Fittus Pro can't afford it. So this is the time the Titan could actually get themselves one or two rounds in a row and then force the CTs to save, especially as Shox has the right spawn to push into the A bomb. So picking off snacks will make it so really, really, really hard for the CTs right now. They adjust their positions, obviously, and once again, it is the patience that Pasha proved to have in that um, first or second gun round when he was just waiting and smoking and flashing. This time around, he doesn't have it. He had to go for an informational peak, and that's when Titan and Existence will capitalize on that. Bialy gets completely blinded, and he will still get the frag on the Existence, making it a 4v3. Oh, the Terrace on the rotation towards the B-bomb, so while Taz might be backstabbing them. Yeah, they got to move quickly. Taz, not that quickly, he's gonna be stealthy. Lucky actually that T jumped over the railing. So Taz will in here, Titan moving, but they gotta find the right time. Viali, well there's your first opening. Taz to come in from behind, I think he just got scouted out though. He'll find one. He still no shocks us there. Using that smoker's cover as a flash, they actually jump over the top of each other, through the boxes, Taz knows he's behind him. And Shox is the last man left alive. A straight defuse will win this for Pro. And Shox knows it too. He does not want to give up this AWP. And he'll get himself away to safety. And VP, they may stick around against Titan after Titan. So heavy on the investment too. Yeah, but it was a quite a funny, um, funny situation with Taz and Shox trading. To, uh, trading positions than not knowing or knowing where they are but not daring to push through the smoke again and just missing each other basically they could have changed the outcome of the round if Taz went down to shocks in that, in that very situation now I have that AWP in the hands of shocks but he's down to 26 already he could pass it off but he uses it instead and takes down snacks to open up the round for the terrorists Get spotted, then Shocks has to defend himself. His teammates are coming in to right. help him out on that. They, they just chase over Bialy. That's all they need. Just tech nine spam it. Run around the corner. Get yourself now. M4 is Neo trying to get more smoke cover down. But now it's actually allowing Titan a little bit of space to move up. Taz still holding on the bomb side. He has to drop down lower. He was too exposed up high. But it's four on two at the moment. Pasha and Taz. They've got to go big to keep this advantage. And currently, Taz finding two. Can't find the third yet, running out of bullets. Now he switches over to that P2000. He's actually doing so much work, catching out the third and almost shooting his own teammate. Luckily, that shot is the one he missed. But it's up to existence with the AWP. And he does have the bomb. Another big advantage for pa Pasha. Sees him trying to play this range game, but existence will get the pick. 26 seconds on the clock. He expects Taz to be in that position. Now he he's was pushing right. around. Now they are playing like cat and mouse. Existence is moving forward to the bomb side. He's Taz. making so much sound though. And with yeah. 10 seconds left on the clock, Taz actually run up on the right side and he actually fakes it. He fakes it with six seconds to go. Now the plant will come up and Taz, because he rotated around, he was on the perfect side of the train and he will be able to regain one of those orbs and VP. Again, they push back and they level the score up five rounds apiece. Yeah, and this time around, RPK is not able to get as many frags as before. It is Fitz and Shox picking up 10 frags apiece. 
while Kaz is sitting at 9 and the rest of the is probably with 7 and 6 so it is a team effort and they definitely pull it back together you can't do it alone and they need to work together again Biadi though will shift the Shift around, around a little bit. You want an information push? How about a kill push? Same for Snap. Moving so fast up, but Virtus Pro are losing players left, right, and center here. And especially again, Bialy's gonna drop Taz, last man left alive, but it's one on four. Sure, two of them are injured, and Smith actually helps him out. He orb shots his own teammate. Taz will get the assist. Luckily, Titans still hold the round, but uh, whoopsie daisy. Yeah, that was uh, almost the second team kill that we saw. Taz almost took out his teammate earlier. This time around it was uh, Smith uh, with the frag. And Titan will win that round after a five round streak of Virtus Pro. So the CT's money didn't get up to the states where, where we would have expected it due to the rounds being really close. So the 1v1 situation, even though Titan lost them, they this still... Push. Got the money really well. Taz in the perfect position. He sees one over the smoke. That M4 gonna go to work and Virtus Pro! The trap was perfectly there. Neo in the smoke. Now Viali to come from behind. They really have this lockdown. Even finding himself an extra AWP. Shox wants to have a look. Actually does too. Hits him with the AK. And now the choice is, do you try and play for picks? Pash is already on the long flank. So there's no way to run out of this one. So Shox is kind of forced to fight. Yeah, Unless he, he can get that pick on Pasha and get back out. Yeah, he will smoke off Pass and misses that crucial shot on Snacks, who then flashes out to cover his teammate. And Pasha knows where Shox is. They will get themselves in Shox exchanged that AWP for the AK, but the spray wasn't as successful as the previous round. So 6-6 six to six again. They keep trading rounds, but the money for Virtus Pro is not really looking too strong. While Titan have two players on 7k, and they will force it up for that. Yep. Buy a whole bunch of AKs for everyone. Pash is actually really depressed too, because he didn't pick up those orbs that were just laying around. So he's still walking around with a scout and not an orb. But they have the M4s, they have the AKs, and they've got a lot of money. So three Molotovs being purchased, and Titan, they just go straight down through drop. Not the perfect combo there from Virtus Pro, as they will lose two of their defenders already. And RPK doing the work again with a freshly planted smoke down. Taz with the flash. There's no one else there. They're on the other side, hence the flash not affecting him. Try to shoot around the side of the train. Only nine bullets left inside that clip, but it's still not enough. Shox brings down Taz and Pasha with this scout. It looks like he's going to have to go down through drop to get back onto the train yard where that bomb is currently not ticking yet. Yeah, but they, he will have a good angle if he gets out of Pop Dog. The terrorists will not expect him, and he gets that headshot with the P250 pushing on through. And now he has to battle it out with shocks through the smoke. The scout is not being utilized anymore. He exchanges that for a Gamil. Grab an automatic weapon and he goes to work getting wow. the frag onto shocks. Important clutch round for Virtus Pro and it is passion to make it happen. Triple kill for him. Great performance to have the patience to walk around the terrorist and then come in from behind basically. Really, really well played by Pasha, keeping it together for Virtus Pro and keeping them in control of their own economy and of the map so far. Yeah, that nine kill count for him really doesn't do him justice. Pasha played that perfectly and also an overpass. He's just really, he's playing smart. Had a yeah. couple of, like, a little bit of iffy rounds at the very, very beginning. But now again, Virtus Pro is heavy, heavy, heavy flashes. Taz in the middle of the smoke, coming in behind them, and he actually picks up the bomb carrier. The CT defense is strong, and this was Titan on their buy. They're running out of people. Shox looking up. Now who's going to win this one? It will be Shox over Snacks. But a 2 on 1, and Shox took a lot of damage to get victory there. And he cannot get down to the bomb. Taz just using that wall cover perfect. And well, okay, not that perfect. Wide shoulders sticking out, he'll lose his life. And Chox doesn't lose much more, still sitting on 30. And it's up to Pasha, once again, to hold it for his team. 50 seconds on the clock. And he's still got Molotovs, he's still got nades to work with. For Chox, he's looking behind him, he's worried that Pasha's flanking. But Pasha, sitting at the bottom of the stairs. Full patience, eight rounds to six, six Virtus Pro. Looking good now going into the last round of the first half. Sometimes the straightforward play is the better one to go for, and Pasha had the perfect 
position to just wait for shocks to come around the corner. He, he didn't expose himself like Kaz, for example, to, to the railing area of the hallways. So he had everything settled out in front of him and he exactly knew where Shox was coming from. 8 to 6, heading into this last round of the first half of the second map. Did Taz just do it again? Taz just did it again. He's right behind Titan as they aggressively push through. This time, though, he won't get the pick. The plan is going down. Neo with the P90 will come in from behind and he needs to do a little bit more work. Brings down two of the players, but it's making the numbers work for Virtus Pro. As Shox will also drop Smith, the final survivor. The revealer's position with the death of Bialy. And a 60, 60 life as well as 90 on the armor. That plant off the side of the train as well. So Shox, Smith was, sorry, able to defend it from that point. But Pasha comes through, gets the kill, defuse done. And that's now nine rounds to six. Virtus Pro on CT side. Looking good. And remember, this is their map. And I expect yeah. a pretty strong T side to come out from VP now. They're looking better and the, at the end than they looked when they started off in this map with a 5-0 to zero scoreline. Then they pull it back to 5-5 five to five and for a second I thought Titan could really take over the steering wheel and just uh, take it over, you know, just uh, just steer it away from Virtus Pro. But uh, the poles hang in there, once again proving that they are not easy to really get out on top of and especially the mental stability of the team is still there it's still intact and they know what to do in those situations they know that they can rely on each other they had numerous players step it up Neo came in with so many double kills we actually didn't mention that too many times because he mm -hmm. picked them up like silently in the middle of the round here and there and it wasn't the entry frag or the closing frag but he picked up a few double kills that actually got the rounds um, and shaped them in a way that British Pro could work with in the long run. Um, this is a long time for Titan. They still want to have a bit of a chat about everything that's going on because they haven't readied up just yet to go into our second half and this has probably been the longest pause we've had between halves just to just to talk things out because Titan are feeling out of their element right now. VP are very, very comfortable. I still don't want to even call this map a CT side of the map. Even if, yeah, getting into B, once that plant goes down, what happens there? But can you even get in there? The way VP played that is so unique where you get that smoke on the stairwell and into the area where you can run on that higher level platform yeah. before then you can come down to B side. But you look at that area and with flashes and smokes, there's no way that Titan knew, like, could, could actually clear this out without spraying through, revealing their position, and kind of like yeah. blowing the whole thing. It resembled Banana on Inferno. Some, some kind of... A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it was the same kind of way that, that you would play Banana on Inferno, and that was a really great idea that Virtus Pro comes up with that playing style. Now they are on their own terrorist side, and they have to maybe battle the same problems that Titan had with um, with that B execution or with Ivy, for example, being smoked off and controlled by one of the CTs. Smith will actually gather the information and he will... It's already too late. He's on the wrong side of the map. The rest of Titan, they're outnumbered. Uh, but at the same time, the push comes through to B, but it's a dummy that actually goes straight down through drop. Partial will be brought down for snacks and of course absolute havoc inside the connector. If only he had more bullets, now he comes back out again. Support will be there from his teammate. But it's a two on three snacks. He's just got to tap it. Now he finally does. As they back up in the connector, still the bomb in the hand of Virtus Pro, and they come for the B plant after Titan took all that hard work to rotate back over to the train yard. The bomb will go down on B side. If this is his leg getting quickly, almost pre-fire coming out there from Snacks. They've got nine life between the two of them. Maniac will drop that down to seven. Neo, the last man surviving, and that's now a lie as well. Titan will be able to get the retake. But Virtus Pro had Titan scrambling for defense. Yeah, they, they're laughing again. Titan feeling, feeling, feeling well about the outcome of this map so far. You know, they had six rounds on the board on the terrorist side. It's not, uh, not specifically bad, you know. There are teams that do way worse than that. And they know that with the pistol round in the back, they won both pistol rounds. 
back in the day it was 80% winning chance if you have both pistols in the back. But due to the pistols being upgraded and tech nines and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it kind of shaped a different way. But it's still up to, I guess, 65. I don't have the exact number, but it's probably around 65 to 70% of winning a whole map if you win both pistols. And Titan have the rifles in their hands right now. Virtus Pro going for an almost full save due to the bomb being planted in the pistol. So they will take it slow right now. And yeah, Titan just have to handle that, um, that V entrance right now. Oh, they're doing a pretty damn good job. There's only one smoke and flash which VP brought, brought to support them. The Maniac from top of the train doing the work. And uh, well, Titan will lose one of their players, but. That's all, they just swap out a Famous for an M4. Uh, there's no problem with that whatsoever. So, Titan, bringing the rounds back a little bit closer. Virtus Pro now 9 8, still in front. But they need to wait maybe a little bit longer before they go for their full buy. Yeah. And in um, fact, nope, wait no longer. They buy up AKs, they think they can do this. They got two bomb plans, so they had quite a lot of money they uh, good point they, and, we they are, actually, and on T side they actually have a lot of nades which is unusual but they as I said they have four Molotovs both bomb plants so that is that is a lot of money for the second round Titan will know that though they um, maybe their mouth skills are better than ours and <laughs> and they will know that there is a buy run coming up so they prepare themselves for that but a seemingly aggressive setup on the A bomb so with three players heading into the deeper part trying to oppose them and now Snacks is opening up with a headshot onto Shocks now Apple is being pushed down by the CTs taking up the frag but at the same time it's Bialy and RPK now trading leaving it down to a 3v3 situation yeah but this 3v3 is not balanced RPK sacrificed a lot of his life to ensure that last kill over on Bialy so he may control Ivy but Virtus Pro actually making their way back there they understand that's where the weakest player is for Titan yeah so if they can just get that it. instant kill and they're looking behind the tray line then they can move around while is Taz who's making this move, just a round drop. He is slowly coming over towards B, realizing no one's there as Maniac. The Stealth Titan coming in behind and does shoot Taz while he's got his back turned. No, the rest of the Virtus Pro have yeah. gotten through. But they are on the re-rotation towards A and they have a very good trap kind of set up by accident. They have Maniac coming in from Poplog and Existence could come in from Connector and they will snap that trap. 2v1 though, Neo is still alive and he's got a lot of equipment and a lot of HP to work with. He probably expects existence to come in from the V-Bomb and he will oppose him, <laughs> taking him down as well. Now he has to work against RPK with 5 seconds on the clock, RPK sounds in 6 and oh! he will make it in time. RPK with the frag, just making it 9 to 9 now. Titan, stay alive. He was so low, he was so, so low. And, and that's, that you, you cannot blame. You cannot blame him for going for the shot. No, with five seconds on the clock, if he goes for the full plant, he knows that the CT is close by. Yep. No chance that he can do it. So he had to fake, and RPK knew that he had to fake, basically. So he but was. But he still came to look. Yeah. He still came to look and took and took and took the battle with almost no life. You have to check if that if the flames are actually. You, know. <laughs> you have to just touch it to be sure. Yeah, really heavy smoke coming in into the train yard. The mania, it, maniac, sorry, already ready. Takes out three as they come down the ramp. That was not going to work for Virtus Pro. And in fact, he'll pick up a four for. I say that it's actually Existence who helps him out. So Titan, but almost seems like an easy round now. Going nine to ten. But Virtus Pro, the money's back in again, and this time they're walking around with an AWP on Neo. And the same that go or went for Virtus Pro on Overpass with all the players being on the same frag count or roughly on the same frag count goes for Titan right now. Um, just two to three frags between the, two, between the five players. So they all do their jobs right now and it's so, so hard to penetrate the CT defense if everyone is on point. That shocks. Look at this wonderful position. The tease is going to keep walking past him. The only one that's close to him is actually the Orpa. And now Shox comes out, but Taz will drop him. And the CTs, they're running out of players right now. Smith's the last man left alive. He comes in from behind and actually gets the bomb drop. Again, we find ourselves in a duel, but Snacks does it from range with the AK. Ten rounds to ten. Everything starts to level up, including the money. There's still a lot more in Maniac, but the money is still fairly leveled.
You have Little Stro actually living up to the expectations of when the pressure is on, they will make things happen. That is just really sick play by Snacks. Going for the very long range shot, it's not that easy to hit. And he keeps Little Stro in the game, otherwise Titan would have really got out on top with the economy and then also with the confidence. Now the Frenchman has to fight it out with two Galils and three AKs with, a, with some pressure coming up from Ivy. Um, focusing two players on that position with Smith and RPK going for that. And actually four players committed to the A bomb set. Existence has deep control over B. So he has all the information at hands and he will forward that to his teammates while they Try to keep the terrorists from reaching those entry points into the A-bomb site. Well, here they come. The smokes are down. Shocks waiting patiently in the train yard. And now he'll finally find that head of Neo as the bomb drops down. Still three on four. Make that a little bit better with two players left for the T-side. Viali find these angles, but not enough of them. We'll end up dropping, and this is just a quick pop-up now for Titan. 11 rounds to 10, they hold the advantage, they hold the orbs, they even pick themselves up a free AK for Smiths. And yeah. that money is so poor for Virtus Pro. Yeah. There's just there's just nothing left. Like we're looking right now at pistol rushes to get some level of weapons into their hands from Titan's fingers. At that stage of the game, I would have loved to have infinite money for both teams. But limited amount of AWPs or autoscopes probably. But still, I would have loved to have all the teams or both teams have all the weapons and all the equipment just to see how far and how close they can actually get. Now the money is not looking too good for Widows as you just mentioned, but they will still force it up. They figure that they are still within reach of Titan. They just have to grab that that last the the leg, you know, the ankle just yep. to keep them even closer. Oh yeah. I know I know the observer also wants to see exactly where that smoke was gonna go. There's a lot of prep time that went into it shocks. With the famous in close finds two. Can't find the third though, Pastor able to get the outshoot. And now the rest of them coming in through drop. Nice cover fire with the smoke all over the front of the side. But once they get through, they won't see anything. That's where the flashes went down. Pasha finds another one with that Galil existence, battling from inside the connector. And he's only got one player left, and that's Taz. He's gonna run himself up to heaven. And soon he'll probably be with the Angels. Titan have the advantage. And he's got nowhere to go. Like, saving armor to 79. It's not really gonna be that useful for him. He just needs one player from Titan to come out just a little bit too far. Yeah, just getting another stinging blow and then fly away from heaven like another butterfly. <laughs> so he's just waiting patiently. Eight he needs to be killed before the time runs out and that's what Smith is doing right now. So um, Taz figured, okay, I'm running out of time. It's time to get killed by them. Otherwise, I might be killed after the, after the time runs out and then I might end up without too much money in the upcoming round, so he goes down, kind of suicide by um, by Frenchman, and they will pick up another round, making it 12 to 10. And they will actually get out on top. For now, they should be able to take 13, unless uh, Fidus Pro again can do something here on the eco. But the chances low and Fidus Pro know this. Like they're they're playing for 24th round. That's what this is all about right now. Yeah, just gotta play smart and safe. Maybe get a bump land. Well, that doesn't help him. That would have been nice for Pasha just to slip through Ivy. And now it's going to be Virtus Press. They try and play the, the high road into B. And Existence repositions slightly for it. And he's in the perfect position. Starts spray out a little bit. Not that great with the Famous, so he will actually end up losing that one. With a little bit of help from Maniac below. Actually, Maniac dies as well. So they will be losing bodies. one M4, but it's not that bad for Titan. Yeah, their their money is definitely at a point where they can afford losing two or three people without worrying. But, but if they lose much. two rounds in a row, then they're in trouble. Yeah. VP, this is their buyer round. They've got to win this. If VP can get back-to-back -back rounds, we could be looking at them forcing it into 15. And it's funny also to see the two teams play the different sides completely different as well. While Virtus Pro went for B Hall's control, um, Titan is more focusing on the A bomb set. Now, as I speak, they will obviously go for the B horse control, right? <laughs> but yeah, it is the, the case for the majority of the rounds. And the Virtus Pro on the other side, they focus on the A bomb set more than Titan did on their terrorist side as well. So RPK having some trouble there on the frag, but 
they equally trade blows. He backs off though. He's got a teammate to work with on Ivy. The shot is not actually helping him at all. He will check Ivy out to see if there is any more terrorist action over there. While Maniac is doing the same on B Hall. It's a dangerous play, but Maniac will make it happen in his favor. Five. A 4v2 in favor of the CTs right now. Yeah, we already showed how much this pays off just to get that information and potentially slip behind the T lines. Because when that happens, normally uh, train. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I thought Bialy was instantly going to flick to the left, get the headshot, and we had ourselves around on our hands. But it's up the snacks to go one on two. Uh, but to get back, back to that B-Halls, uh, it should just be a simple death here for Snacks. If he doesn't, then brilliant. Um, okay, well, brilliant. He actually brings down Exist. And he Shocked, will he's the last one. Yeah, he's running to B. Well. He's got 15 seconds, though. So you'll have to commit to this one. Shocks is on the run to catch up to him. He's got flashbangs. And Snacks, he hasn't heard the plant go down yet. And Snacks, he's going to start this on the back of the truck. And he will commit. The bomb plant goes down. More time added. Snacks can see him up oh. high, but Shocks will get the pick off. That At least so he gets close. the plant down, but Titan now get their 14th round. That was once again very sick gameplay by both players. Um, Snacks putting down the smoking connector, then Shocks pushed through the smoke, but then he realized, okay, Snacks might be waiting on the other side of connector just for me to push through and kind of overextend. Mm -hmm. So Shocks was waiting there, Snacks was waiting, then. Snacks planted a bomb and he knew that Shox will be on top of the train. He actually spotted him. If he only had more HP, Widdersburg would have won the round. Now it's tightened up 14 to 10, only two rounds away from taking us to Inferno, the yep. third map in his best of three series. As this needs to be big, he doesn't actually find anyone. In fact, Shox not BK, the first one for the blood. Snacks gives a little bit of help with the and she's supporting with Pasha to take out a little bit more of the train yard. But then they almost both die, and in fact, that was such a quick round. That was the force buy out from Virtus Pro, and that'll probably be the map they can go for another force buy. But Virtus Pro are in such a bad economic position. The Titan, all they have to do is just secure their flanks, and they should be able to force this into Infer Inferno. They should, and they could. And they Which would. are the key words, we thought the same on Overpass, and you know how it ended. Yeah, now but that, that was a little bit different though. That was a little bit different. The money was very, very different at that point. Yeah, it was definitely. So, let's see, Virtus Pro is still not out of this. I still have hopes for at least one prediction to be right today. Um, the 2-0. Two, two while the Poles will take it very, very slow, they have control of Pop Dog and they have also clinch control of Ivy at least halfway down with Taz controlling B. Um, they have all the openings, they just have to nice. make it click. There Until is the that. first one. <laughs> Until RPK closes that door again. Maniac actually pushes up um, to the B upper and he will check that out. Taz is on the other side of those crates and Maniac in a very good position. I think Taz no, took ta a peek before that. Taz is going to be really happy with this actually. Really close quarters with a Tech 9. You don't have to play this mass long range battle. If they know he's there, it's really good. If they don't, they're going to get shot in the side of the head just like that. RPK and Maniac finding one each and Taz... Oh, Snack, sorry, just leaps up. He'll get that M4 into his hands. And Neo... She causing some real issues down in train yard. And now in the connector, Shocks doesn't take long to dink him down. And that's gonna be it. So 16 rounds to 10. Via de Pro uh, will be forced into a third. And both teams actually losing their selected maps. Yeah, that's kinda ironical, isn't it? It's yeah, I irony is definitely.